Hi folks, this is Lee with the Market Sense for the week of February 2nd, 2021. Does everybody else feel like it's Groundhog Day? The charts in this presentation come to us from the Trade Navigator software. And this is a weekly bond market chart. And you can see after having this exhaustion week back here five weeks ago, they did turn around and start back up. But last week when they got to the upper moving average, that was all she wrote. Uh, they came down fairly hard before the week was ended and look like they're trying to go back lower this week also. So uh, apparently that took care of the exhaustion and they're trying to go lower again. The big key, of course, will be right around this 168 level here. That looks like support, should be support, and we'll see if they can break through it. If they do, I kind of doubt they'll hold the 167 area. I think they'll at least take that out marginally. Um, and the ultimate low, not this one back here that you can see, but the ultimate low early last year was right around 165 in this contract. So that's, that's kind of the real critical point. If they get below that, the Fed's going to have a tough time keeping interest rates down regardless of what they try to do. But at this point, the 168 level is what to watch. If they can hold there, then there's certainly a good chance they could go back up to 170. But 168. Let's see if they hold it. That's an important level here. In stocks, we had an exhaustion bar last week. You can see it's a fairly large range bar that closed below everything and right near the low. And they turned after opening lower Sunday night and started right back up. Um, the only thing we could really count on them being back up to was 37.22. That was the, the normal target after an exhaustion bar. But my goodness, they were up to 37.76 Monday. I mean, they recovered very rapidly. And clearly that isn't going to hold them either. They've gone above that and the next target would appear to be 38.50. And they only have to go to 62 to get to the new all-time highs. They certainly act like they want to do that, but you know, they could fail. I'm not, I mean, this isn't an ultimate that they have to go higher, but they sort of look like they want to. Um, we're kind of looking at 36.34 as being the important support this week, but they turned up without ever going down there. And again, they turned up very rapidly. They were back up here by Monday. So I think you got to like them. I think it's, it's scary to try and bet against them. Now, the one thing I will say is if they hold this 38.50 area and if they start to distribute and turn from there, that that could be a real negative. They could really turn down from there. Not predicting that, no. It's, it's just how do they handle 3850, and let's see if they can go to new highs. And as you know, selling new highs is against my religion. In the QQQ, the representing the NASDAQ, it's, it's uh, interesting how different the pattern is. They had a week, a week week last week where they had a big bar down and closed right near the low, but they were, it wasn't really an exhaustion bar. They didn't take out the lower moving average, didn't close below everything. And this week, they've just opened higher and stayed above that 3.18.14 uh, is the middle moving average. And they pretty much used that as support, which it kind of could have been resistance had they opened down here. But they've gone through that and they've already gone up above the 3.25 area, which again should have been resistance, but they seem to be going through that. So 330.32 is last week's high, and you'd have to assume they're going to try that. Um, I mean, if they turn down from here, you'd even call it they've already tested it. But uh, again, I, I think you have to give this trend the benefit of the doubt and assume that they're trying to go to new highs and might very well make it. Um, Interesting to see the difference in the in the two markets, how the, the S&P looks so much weaker last week than this. That kind of helps clue you in that they're maybe not that weak. They can trade in opposite directions, but not very often. They tend to go together when the market's trending. So that's what we've got for you today. I hope you can find something profitable to get yourself into. And thanks for checking in to see what we're looking at.